Oh, uh, this All is right. the, uh... Our comic review on Tales from the Crypt. First one, we have number two and number seven. First one, number two. Came out in September 07. This is a classic right here. Actually, it sucks. I'm going to go through it. It's two stories. Wow. The first story is uh, called The Tenant. And they first are, off, they have like a different artist for like the different stories. Yeah, they have a different artist for, for the two different stories in here. For, so for every the different story issue, is like, usually. It's like pretty whack. And the freaking, it starts off with the landlord, like, getting yelled at by all the people living there because the building's just in shambles. And freaking, the story's pretty tight because then, you know, we get a court order and he has to live there for 30, for, for a whole month. And, uh, and then the crypt keeper starts haunting him. Like, he goes to check and, like, fix the heat in the basement. But then even before that, though, it's pretty tight because the whole reason why he even gets the court order is because, like, an old lady dies there because it's so cold. And, of course, come up. karma comes back to bite him because uh, it's Tales from the Crypt Hardcore. There's the court order right here. Even though he All moves right, what's in, the next story? Even though he moves in, he gets, like, freaking his, like, TV, like, satellite and everything. Like, he brings in six heaters, it says. It's, like, hilarious. And then he goes to check, you know, because his heaters go out. And then he turns on a match, and it's the Crypt Keeper. Look at that artwork. And then the total ending is, like, he freaking has to, like, take care of all, like, because they're right next to a graveyard, too. The apartment. So he ends up just freaking have to take care of like the grave and be the caretaker and the landlord. And freak it's for the spirits to like leave him alone, for the ghosts to leave him alone. And it's pretty tight. Alright, what's the next story? Alright, uh, Crypt Keeper right there. Oh, it's just a dead zombie. Actually, it's not the Crypt Keeper. Yeah, you're not even like looking through the freaking. Uh. Wow. And then it's this freaking crappy, like, alright, this is called The Garden. And freaking, even before this, though, the Crypt Keeper, like, they have this little, like, you know, part before he introduces the second story. And it's pretty tight. But freaking, um, this one's called The Garden. And, and it's, it's like, like freaking, total like, grass monkey, it's like. It's like the cover of Grass Monkey. <laughs> <laughs> like that funky monkey. It's like freaking retarded. It's like Ed and Eddie or it's like Ed and Nettie, but this story is like it's, this guy gets like wins like a palace or something. So, he's, so he palace. packs up to go to go to the palace, and so he's getting on the bus here, and then freaking uh, basically shows up. He's got maids here, and they start taking care of him. But really, they're like freaking about to kill him, and it's like pretty tight he's got like wine given it to him it's all like these freaking worms and stuff but then freaking the whole reason is, is this isn't even freaking uh this isn't even a palace he's like in hell or something and this is like all the people like on the bus you know like when he was coming here like he was a suicide bomber so it's kind of a tight story but it's a little retarded at some parts but other than that so he usually blows himself up and right here it's freaking, he blows himself up inside the bus on the way over. And then here, he's just stuck in hell with all the people that, that he killed on the bus. And they're trying to kill him, but it's pretty tight. Alright, the second one is Tales from the Crypt number 7 of the 21st century version of Tales from the Crypt EC Comics came out in July 08. This the artist that did this one did a lot better job than the other issue. And like 
starts off with the Crypt Keeper, and he's, like, doing a freaking video for, like, his vlog, like... <laughs> <laughs> This version, of course. Like, I know they draw the Crypt Keeper they in these magazines. They bring him like into the 21st century. They draw him like, like a human that's kind of decayed and it's freaking retarded. No, uh, that one's actually pretty tight. That's uh, what's happening in this story. And then it starts off with a con artist in Louisiana. That's tight. And then he immediately finds out he's trying to run some game on some tourists, and uh, in New Orleans, and uh. And he founds out that he's, like, dying and stuff. Go on. Then he figures out he's cursed, and he knows who the woman is. And then he tells about a story about how he met this girl who said she was rich, and she turned out being white trash from the bayou. And so it... Her old grandma knew he was bad news and a con artist, and he left, took off, and she put a curse on him. Tales oh, she put a curse on him. Tales from the Crypt style. And it's pretty dead, and he's slowly dying, and, like, his body's freezing up because he's cursed. And then, oh, he's, hold and he's going through the bayou and dragging through the swamps and there's a bunch of tight artwork in this and he's like turned into oh, a zombie oh uh, turn into a zombie oh, it's through the swamps then there's a gator coming after him this one's pretty tight yeah my story's pretty whack <laughs> go on and so he makes it back to the old witch's trailer and then their uh, family of hicks take him down after he gets caught in a bear trap. She knew he'd be coming back. Then we'll save the ending for you when you read it. Then it's the intermission where the Crypt Keeper comes back and he's like, hey, I'm shooting my blog, my vlog with my housemates. And he's like, it's the Vault Keeper and the Old Witch and Cheap Rubber Mask. <laughs> Go on, next story. And then, uh... Then it starts off with this two-bit criminal who whacks some guy and steals his wallet in some random city alley. And he ends up taking his wallet and seeing where he lives, so he goes back to the apartment where it's at, and he, uh, loots the house and sees what's in there drinks a bunch of wine then he finds ends up finding werewolves in the basement uh werewolves in the basement and they end up telling their story about how they got cursed from uh their archaeologists and they went to like the pyramids in Giza and got a werewolf curse from opening a tomb oh uh, that's pretty tight a werewolf curse So then he's like total crook, so he just leaves him there, even though they has to be let out. And uh, he starts pawning off all the stuff, goes into the library, reads how to get rid of werewolves, which is the silver bullet, of course. Oh, silver bullet, that's pretty tight. And then the ending's pretty tight. I won't give it away. Wow, he's not going to give it away. You guys hear that? <laughs> All right, go on. Then it ends with the uh, Crypt Keeper. Doing his video the vlog. The old witch. Wrapping up his video vlog. Wow, you should wrap it that up. That was the Crypt Keeper review. All right, well. Peace out.